Hey everybody, this is Erica Sable. Welcome back. <laughs> I love how far away you are. So today I am here at YouTube Space Toronto with my friend Archer here. He's just chilling on the Chesterfield right now. I'm gonna do a little tour of the studio space I'm in right now because it's hella cool and it's all like festive and spooky and stuff. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty cool. It's super cool. And then we're gonna do a little interview with Archer about some of his favorite memories in video games. Because as you know, I do have a My Memories series on my channel and I kinda wanna check and see what other people's memories are like too. So yeah, I really hope you enjoy. Just fun times. Fun times, right? Fun times. Fun times. Speak to me. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. As I mentioned, I am here with my friend Archer, and we're going to talk about some of his favorite memories from childhood of video games and such. Sure. So tell me a little bit about some of the ones that you really, really reminisce over sometimes. Thinking back, I think my first experience with any video game was definitely Soul Calibur in an arcade. Well, on an arcade machine, not really in an arcade, so at like a pizza place. Cool. <laughs> like, you would get in and the pizza place was almost like built into this coliseum-like building. Mm -hmm. It was like big and round, there was a ton of space, and then right around the corner, there was just a gathering of people and there was Soul Calibur and Tekken 3, and I was hooked. Both my brother and I were just <laughs> fixated on it. The next experience that I had with video games was Mega Man X. Nice memory. Mega Man X, and I'm just looking oh, at him damn. play through the first first level, and it just blew my mind. Like, it's beautiful. After that, when we moved uh, for the second time when we lived in Trinidad, was when we first got our N64, and both of us have been asking for like PlayStation or like a Game Boy for the longest while, and then both of our parents decided, you know what, it's been long enough. We can trust you at this point. So here's an N64. Again, to my father's chagrin, he did not know that we would get so addicted. So he got us that, and Super Smash Brothers. Mm -hmm. And then there was one day after school where we came back and we were so excited to play. We got home at 3 and we went to bed at 10. We played 7 hours straight. We didn't <laughs> even stop to eat. Yeah. It was just this addictive wonder that just consumed us. And from then, it's always been... Like, we're both pretty into video games. Mm -hmm. Although I feel like I'm more into video games than he is, but that's a competition for another time. Yeah. <laughs> and then, like, after that it was Goldeneye, it was Jet Force Gemini, we would go over by my godbrother and his neighbor brought over his PlayStation with Marvel vs. Capcom. That blew my mind, didn't know how to play it, just smash buttons. Super fun. The fondest memory of our PS2 back when, at least when we lived in Trinidad, mm -hmm. was Kingdom Hearts 1. Oh yeah, Aww. And that was a game we borrowed from one of our friends <laughs> yeah. from middle school. Yeah. It was just like, it's a great game, you know, it's by Square Enix, the guys that did Final Fantasy. And you can, and you play it in a bunch of Disney worlds. And we were just like, ah, that sounds kind of silly, but you know what? Hook me up. Yeah. So good. Isn't it? Best experience. Yeah. We Got, we unlocked everything. Holy shit. Everything. We fought Sephiroth. <laughs> yeah, we fought he Sephiroth. Was, he was really hard. Really hard, but <laughs> the we game spent was really hard, 
Ferrari. A lot of time. It's no wonder so many people game. want Kingdom Hearts 3 so bad. Yeah. They spend so much time like Kingdom dedicated Hearts one, towards Kingdom 1 Hearts and 2. 1 and 2 definitely made up a lot of our like video game experience in our youth. Yeah. So <laughs> certain games would just get crushed in no time at all. <laughs> Well, yeah, time to do that. You know, sometimes yeah. I wish I had that kind of time well, still. Right? And honestly, I have gotten better at it. There have been a few games that I've beaten in like four, five hours. I think the quickest game that I ever beat was Asura's Wrath. And it's not particularly a long game. Yeah. But even with the cutscenes, the first time I played it, I beat it in seven hours. I just yeah. sat down and I beat it. I bought it, I got home from the EV games, and yeah. I beat it that very night. That's a really great game. I yeah. loved how cinematic it was. It felt like an interactive anime. It was, it, that's exactly what it was. Yeah. It was pretty, pretty intense. Yeah. It's like coming at you fast, and I oh, love that. Yeah. Before we got our PS2, we had gone to Canada, and we visited one of our uncles, and he had a PS1. He was playing Final Fantasy VIII. And at the time, I remember clearly, he was fighting Ixion and getting his ass beat. <laughs> Legendary. Uh, I didn't exactly know what was going on. I don't know why they had to wait turns to fight this bloody yeah, train. Yeah, yeah, but they're waiting turns to fight a train, train. and I loved it. Yeah, I loved it. Yeah. And then the next time that we experienced Final Fantasy as a game was Final Fantasy Tactics Advanced, which we had mm -hmm. on an emulator on computer. Yeah. And it was completely different compared to it. It's completely different. Well, it's a grid-based yeah, strategy, grid strategy JRPG. Still take turns, but it kind of helped both of us get into this strategy mentality. Absolutely. And it developed definitely a part of both of our characters that, you know, we think in a strategic way because of that game. And then the next experience was Final Fantasy XII. Well, Final Fantasy X really, but I wasn't too into X because I watched it. I watched a friend play it, and then I watched a friend play X2, and I wasn't really into that. But then 12. 12 had me hooked because 12 was a game that, one of the Final Fantasy games that took a world that already existed and further expanded on it. It was still just a phenomenal experience. Hey, so thanks so much, Archer, for sharing your memories with video games. And you're such an awesome person. I love hearing more about those things and, you know, what makes you, you. Uh, but yeah. I'm glad to share. You, I'm, glad to share. I'm glad that you gave me this chance to share those memories. Absolutely. And I plan on doing lots more of these here at this YouTube space. Clearly, this is a very cool space and it's a very fun place to be able to record stuff like this too. You know what I mean? Yeah. So... Archer, you want to tell everybody where they can find you on the interwebs? Uh, usually on Twitter, talking about like cooking or playing World of Warcraft usually. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can find me on Twitter at Tunucook, T-U-N-U-C-O-O-K. Mm -hmm. Yep, it'll just be somewhere in the description right there. Sweet, awesome. Well, thank you so much once again. Thank you. I hope all of you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for lots more videos and Twitch streams very soon, okay? Bye. All right, bye. Peace.